If you work with plywood in your shop, or you'd like to work with more plywood, then I want to introduce you to an up-and-coming tool category called track guided saws. They're made by three companies right now. This particular brand comes in two configurations. This is a cordless model and a corded version. All of them work in a similar way though. It's a handheld circular type saw that fits onto a track that guides the travel of that saw across the sheet goods. Now there's a couple of advantages to this approach. Besides the fact that the saw cuts are really, really smooth, you also don't have to wrestle large pieces of sheet material over a table saw. You can also adjust the track to cut any kind of angle you want to. Now I want to give you a detailed tour of how these things work so that you can decide whether they're for you or not. One of the first things you need to know about this saw is that it's a plunge style model. That means the blade is safely contained in this shroud and when it comes time to use the saw you push this thumb lever forward and that allows the saw to move out into the wood that you're cutting. Besides safety, that allows the saw to be stopped and started in mid-cut. Another thing is the way the blade depth is adjustable. This control here sets a stop that allows the blade to be stopped just past where it goes through the plywood you're cutting. That means the surface you're working on needn't be cut to smithereens as you work. Now, none of these things would matter if the saw didn't cut well. And that's the really amazing thing about track guided saws is just how smoothly they cut, even in chip prone material like veneered sheet goods or even melamine. So let's give the saw a whirl and you can see what I mean. Now, just take a close look at that edge. That's every bit as smooth as what I could get on my cabinet saw with the best blade on it. It's ready for gluing or for putting on edge caps or for finishing in any way. Look especially here, right along the edge. There's not even any frazzling there. It's a perfectly crisp, burr-free corner. And the key to that is a rubber lip that's on the edge of the fence that I want to show you now. This is the lip I'm talking about here. When this track was new, the lip extended out past the point where the blade would cut. And on the first cut, the blade actually sliced that rubber lip, which is a good thing because it means that the edge of the lip is perfectly aligned with the blade. Now, the lip is stiff enough that it supports the upper edge of that cut. And that's one of the reasons why the corner is so crisp and burr free. The interesting thing about this saw is that regardless of how you have the blade angled for different beveled cuts, the geometry of the system is such that the rubber lip always lends support right to the edge of the blade regardless of the angle you're working on. This is the bevel cut, and you can see the results are incredibly smooth and accurate, even flopped over 45 degrees from square. Although a saw like this cuts incredibly smoothly, it's not just for fine cabinet work. In fact, a rig like this is really useful even for sheathing walls and a roof. On the back, there's a, a brake that you can activate. You swivel the knob, and it engages a high friction wheel here in the slot that straddles the track so that when you put the tool on the track it slides fine forward but it doesn't go backwards. So if you're using it on a roof or any kind of a sloped surface you don't have to worry about your saw sliding off the track and falling down. Back in 1967 an obscure little tool called the Power Miter Box came onto the market. Well, that's since evolved to chop saws, which are a mainstay in cabinet shops and construction sites everywhere. Well, I think the track-guided saw is something like that. It's starting small now, 
but I believe it's a birth of a whole new tool category because the concept is powerful, versatile, and allows ordinary people to do extraordinary things with wood.